Oh, everybody, look at this one. What the, what the hell? Today we are on board, everybody, the Baby 737. The 737 600 that just came out for the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 from PMDG. And as you can see, you know, PMDG, they're always looking out for quality, even though whatever is going on here with this hangar here, Jesus Christ. PMDG, one of the best models out there here for the flight simulator, for sure. I mean, look, everybody, look, look, look how cute this one. 737 600 is. Yes, you can buy this now indeed. And something that surprised quite a lot of people was the price. This plane only cost 35 euros, which is quite low of a price considering this is PMDG. And we're all still expecting some PMDG quality, which we're definitely, I guess, getting here, right? Let's find that out in today's video. Should you buy this plane? Like, I mean, I'm pretty sure this is meant to be like a little bit of like entry level 737. It is the smallest one. It is the cheapest 737 you could buy, right? If you had the money to buy a 737, right? And so that should be with a 737-600, a plane that's not really flown by many airlines, right? In fact, it's mostly used by SAS. You know, an airline that does definitely need it because it does operate at some short runways, for example, as well. I can imagine this plane doesn't doesn't need a long runway. I mean, the 737 itself has never needed a long runway anyway, but I mean, the smallest one then, that should be able to take something. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the add-on is quite a bit cheaper and really it is nice. It does have all the other 737 features we've already seen in the 700 that was released, you know, earlier on. You know, like the nicely closing door. We don't have a tablet just yet. All of, you know, these kind of controls we have to control via the MCDU like we just did right there. There we go. You know, normally we have an iPad here, but we don't have that. Ground services, let's get rid of everything right here, or we can just remove the chocks as well. There we go. We're getting rid of the ground services thing. So let me work on turning the engines on. Let's start the APU. This is, after all, still realistic. It isn't up there with all these crazy add-ons that have these circuit breakers you can even pull out. Nothing like that. But this model definitely comes close to the real thing, right, for sure. By the way, the 737-600 doesn't have many landing lights, as you can tell, you know. Also, this plane is extremely short. It's weird to see this. Like, compared to, like, a normal 737, <laughs> crazy. Right, let's get, the, uh, let's get the IRS aligned right here. Let's get the APU generator turned on. Let's get the uh, APU bleed on, hydraulic pumps, all that good stuff. This is really just like the 737-700 that I've learned to love over the past few months. And after this one came out, I love this one. Absolutely fine. We've got that going. Maybe now time to turn on those engines right here. If you can fly this thing, you can definitely fly the real thing. And that's like a point. Here we go. Yes. Engines are turning on, as you can clearly tell. Pro pilot. So now it is time for the interesting part, everybody. I mean, you know about the Airbus A318, the baby bus. We found out that it doesn't need a long runway. Like at all. And I know I'm, I'm pretty much doing this every video now, runway testing, but I want to I actually try this here on, on, the, on the 600 as well. I mean, you know, of course, this is PNDG, so realistic physics simulation. Let's take off. Full power. Yes. Get the parking brake released right here. Yeah, check that out. All right, looking good, looking good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Taking off at Courchevel Airport. You know, this is definitely not an easy challenge for anything. And, um... I've kind of destroyed my landing gear, but we can see that we are in the air and we're stably flying, actually. Right? Not much. Jesus Christ, that was close to dying. Why did this plane stall out? It is weird, by the way, to see a 737 without winglets. Kind of reminds me of the old 200 times. Here we go. That's uh, that's kind of worked, though. So not, not that bad. Yes. All right. Now, of course, it is mandatory now to also do a landing here at Cochevel on board the Baby 737 for $35. All right. Good old terrain warnings. Terrain. Terrain. Pull up. Terrain. Terrain. Pull up. Terrain. It, it should be really turned into a song. Let's be honest. Let's land here. I know this is this is a great out on review, by the way. Landing at Cochevel. Welcome back to Spurs 01. Okay, let's do it. All right. There you go. All right, stop now, please, please, please. And so we do, we are, we have stopped. 
I mean, the 737-700 can also stop here nicely and easily, but that was a very quick one. Jesus Christ. I mean, seriously, with this plane, there's no need to worry. <laughs> Look at this. Yes. All right, we kind of almost died there, but that was great. Good one. And, well, of course, since we are on board a 737, let's go to Helgoland. All right, there's this little island right here. When I say little, I mean little. This has a 500 meter long runway. You know, the 737 and this little island do share a bit of history together. You know, I've already made a video on that case where Lufthansa 737 pilots decided to land here. Guess what? It didn't work. But that was, you know, far back in the days on a bigger 737. Maybe let's try this on the smallest 737, the baby 600. All right. So that's what I hate about the 737 as well here. The terrain alerts. Do you see any terrain? There's just an island and there's just water. Oh, ah. Otherwise, this is a great add-on. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, I mean, truly, there's no, not too much to talk about here with this add-on simply because this is the 737. Still, it's just a shorter one. It's good news, though, that we can finally download the 737 now for $35. <laughs> Quite good of a price, I'll be honest. Let's now do this. All right, here we go. Stopping quickly, and this might just actually work. That was a, a very on-point landing. There we go. All right, this is, by the way, this is 500 meters of a flat runway. Right, uh, I, you know what? I, I think I like this little plane. I like this one. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, throw it onto the runway. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Right. Okay, hear me out. This might work. This might work. There is a chance. Let's do it. Let's use it. Full power. Right. Looking good. And uh, let's put the flaps up right here all the way here to 40 degrees, which is quite crazy. And let's now release the brakes. Very static of a takeoff. Here we go. We, we can do this. Come on, 737. Give it all you got. All the power that the 737 can deliver. Right, right, right. Come on. That's not going to be enough. It's dead. We're dead. Right. No. Right. We are. Great! But there's always a chance that a landing might work. Let's use it. Mm, mm, let's do this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was a hard one. I'm sorry, Mr. 737. Come on, baby. Yes! All right. So that's uh, actually, you know what? That was, not a, that was not an issue at all. How did we just stop? All right, I mean, to be fair, though, I'm, I have live weather turned on right here in the Caribbean. We do have some winds, uh, 17 knots of straight headwinds, but Jesus Christ, that was a stop. Probably also because I kind of crashed that landing gear, but there we go. I mean, I just landed at S Saba. 300 meters, it's not even 400 meters long runway. That's good. That's, um, that just shows the baby 737 is quite capable. I mean, truly, this is, after all, a PMDG 737, but for a bit of a lower price, we see the cabin, by the way. I mean, it's, it's a nice plane. If you want to simulate some proper private flights, then this is definitely for you. And if you want to land at Saba Airport. So yeah, guys, um, Swiss is one approved. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, as always. Good night.